everyone and welcome to Joey's Retro Handhelds. I'm Joey and today I'm going to be showing you how to add the Google Play Store to the Ambernic RG353 series of devices. This will be a quick and easy video. First thing you need to do is download the five files from the links in the description. Few options here, you can download them straight onto the device through the Chrome browser, pop out the SD card and put the files on it, or connect the device to your PC and transfer them that way. I'd suggest putting them in the downloads folder on the internal storage, but anywhere works. The sixth link is for the last step and isn't needed right now. With the files on the device, open the Explorer app and start installing each APK in the order on screen, same as listed in the description. You'll likely get a pop-up about allowing unknown sources. Allow it, it's normal. The first APK in the Play Store APK took me a few minutes, that's normal, don't worry. For the last APK which installs device ID, when you install it and open it, you likely won't see anything under the Google Services Framework section, which is the area we need next. Don't worry, just delete the app and reinstall it and you should be good to go. Follow my steps on screen to see how I did it if you're not sure how to do so. If you do it successfully, you should see a long number under Google Services Framework. You're going to need this number for the next step. Side note, you're going to start getting a lot of notifications about PlayProtect not being certified and your device is either going to vibrate or ring incessantly. Just mute and ignore for now, it's normal. Open the sixth link in the description. It'll be easier to do this on a PC or your phone, but you can do it on the device too if you'd like. Copy and paste or write out the Google Services Framework number in the field, prove you're not a robot, and register. Now let's restart the device. The next part could take up to 15 minutes or so, so feel free to come back in a bit. You'll know it worked when you can open the Google Play Store and it shows a login screen. Otherwise, it's gonna keep sending you back. Feel free to keep trying or just wait a bit. It took me about five to 10 minutes. After that, you're all set and done. Feel free to delete those files that we loaded onto the device after if you'd like. They aren't needed anymore and just take up space. You can also delete the device ID app too if you'd like. And that's it. Hope you liked the video and hope you all have a good one.